I'm Angela Moore. I'm the Director of Marketing here at St. Catherine Hospital. Today we're going to talk about cardiology services at St. Catherine Hospital. Since 1928, St. Catherine Hospital has been involved in many firsts in cardiac care. And this year, in 2010, we have a new device called the Impella device that um, we have our patient, Mr. Tyrone Brown from Hammond, Indiana, that was the first patient of Dr. Samir Abbas. Welcome. Well, thank you. How are you today? Oh, fine, fine. How pretty are you good. feeling? I feel pretty good. After I understand through. you've been through a lot. Can you tell me a little bit about your heart disease and what mm. you've dealt with for the past several years? Yes, about oh, three or four years ago, okay. I had a triple bypass heart surgery. And it went fairly well, but okay. then I moved to Hammond, retired, moved to Hammond, and then it started up again. Okay. So I went to see my doctor, which is Turk Money, and he introduced me to Dr. Boss. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your symptoms. What were you feeling? Oh, the pain. Really tired, you're or? tired. And the pain in your chest. Okay. Your chest pains. You so know, you know, it here so it goes again. Is that what you're feeling? Yes, like? and oh, no. Yeah, it was cool. I knew it then. To go through that bypass, that was a serious it surgery. Was serious. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was, because our uh, cold blew twice. Code blue twice. Two, wow. in two, in two days. Wow. <laughs> Doing this after, you know, after really? surgery. Yes, I did. Okay. So I didn't want to go through that no more. Right. So when he told me what it, when he went up, there's a new device that they did too. Mm -hmm. They went in my arm instead of going to detect the arm thing. It's a new thing that then usually they go in the groins, right? right? This time he went in the arm and found the claw. Wow. That's when he went and they had to do that. Mm -hmm. So it was one of the two I had. So your main <laughs> artery was clogged? Main artery was clogged, okay. so I had no other choice but that. And we couldn't operate again because I just went through operation. Mm -hmm. You just had a major surgery. It seemed like there were no other options. And doctor said, let's try this Impala device. Probably, yes. Okay. That was nerve wracking, but you were going to try it. Yes, sure, I, was. Right? I was. I was nervous, but not, almost 90% of my it was clogged up. He, wow. he had no other choice. No other and they choice. couldn't op like I said, they couldn't operate no more because they just had operation. Right. So thank you goodness for this. For that now. Right. You think about, if you think about it, it was a And when did a this um, a device come out? And when did you have this procedure? Oh, I had it about I had it about three about four months ago. Yes. About four months ago. Well you look great. Four months ago. And you're feeling good? <laughs> feeling pretty good. Feeling uh -huh. pretty good. What a blessing, huh? It was a blessing because I don't know what he did. But what would they have did if they couldn't? Mm -hmm. And nothing he could do. Right. He told me that. He explained it to me and everything. Mm -hmm. That uh, this has got to be done. But right. I'm so glad it was. Well, you're the first patient <laughs> in Northwest Indiana. Yeah. You're at St. Catherine Hospital. Mm -hmm. And we're happy to be able to provide this service. And very happy to see you. You look great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank and we you. appreciate your input and mm -hmm. in joining us today. And I feel good, too. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. <laughs> As we talked about before, St. Catherine Hospital and its cardiac care services, since 1928, we've brought many firsts in the area to Northwest Indiana. In the 60s, it was open heart surgery. And today, we're talking to cardiologist Samir Abbas, a young physician with a passion for research, latest technologies, and advanced care for his patients. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Dr. Abbas studied at the University of Damascus, completed, completed his residency at St. Louis University Hospital, and a fellowship at the University of Illinois in Chicago. Can you first tell us currently the research that you're doing here at St. Catherine Hospital? Uh, you know, as you know, I'm an interventional cardiologist, and since I joined uh, 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 St. Catherine, uh, uh, we try to do some advanced research regarding the endovascular treatment for uh, uh, coronary and peripheral vascular disease. So we started off with a, the endovascular treatment for carotid disease, uh, comparing carotid surgery versus carotid stenting. And we have a study we just actually launched at St. Catherine Hospital last month um, uh, using a stenting for the carotid arteries we're involving patients in. Uh, the second part is we have a new technology for peripheral vascular disease also in, uh, especially in, uh, in both legs. And uh, we also participating in a research regarding this uh, era. Uh, on the non-invasive pattern, we are doing some research in uh, uh, advanced lipid panel and a new antiarrhythmic drugs for treatment of uh, uh, atrial fibrillation, which is irregular heartbeats. 
Dr. Abbas, what does it mean for these patients, this type of research? Uh, well, first of all, uh, you know, when, when, you have a, uh, when you have a research study, that means you have a little bit of uh, uh, more evidence-based medicine treatment, number one. Number two, for the patients that they are, they have another option. For example, when we will talk about carotid uh, surgery, it's a, an excellent uh, t treatment. However, there are some patients, they're not candidate for this surgery. And when we give them an option, another option for less invasive uh, a treatment, it will give them an opportunity to participate or to get the treatment first, especially that a lot of those treatment, it has to be part of the study or part of a registry research. And if we don't have the study, we don't have this option. And that's why now at St. Catherine, we start doing carotid stenting before we were unable to because we didn't have this, uh, you know, studies available. Uh, uh, you know, so any new technology to be like, 100% you know available it has to start with a research as you know and so having this ab ability in St. Catherine to bring those new technology it gives a great options for patients to be uh, treated you know uh, uh, in, in, in lesion that we never were able to treat in before yeah. And do you currently how many patients are you working with in this research study? Well, you know, it's, it has to be having inclusive uh, inclusion criteria and, um, and exclusion criteria. Our goal is to have like, uh, it will be very, I mean, you know, twice a week. I think like if we get this, it will be very, very good. That's the goal for the study in the area, in, especially in St. Catherine, yeah. I don't have a number exactly. We just launched this study uh, last, last month. exciting for patients and, um, in Northwest Indiana to be able to learn and to advance treatments? And I mean, it is, it, there's a lot of, you know, like, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of institutions, uh, you know, bigger institutions around us that they have those, uh, you know, uh, trials and the studies. St. Catherine didn't have it before. Since I joined, that is the, the beauty about the area here is actually they have the, now the opportunity to not to travel. I mean, we can do it in here. We have all the capability to do all these type of procedures. And, you know, those are the studies that we brought here. They're not brand new, but they were not available. Right. So we, we, we prove that, you know, we are capable of doing it, number one. Number two, we have the support from the hospital. And number three, we have the patient population, as you know. And special, especially in East Chicago, there is a, you know, a, a diverse uh, people and population that a lot of, like, um, companies are very interested in seeing the effects of those new technology on those type of uh, population because they're not... Uh, you know, they're kind of like unique and diverse, yeah. Can we talk a little bit about um, heart disease and the different ethnic things that you know? Right, about? yeah. Um, I mean, as you know, there's a lot of uh, Hispanic community in, in East Chicago. And it's been, uh, since I joined here, which has been a year and a few months, I noticed that, you know, uh, they are absolutely at a higher risk of cardiovascular disease Especially in, uh, especially that the, the, you know, it's different than what's the normal, like, you know, you think like young people, they don't have like diabetes, they should not have really advanced coronary artery disease unless like they have some significant family history. I noticed there are a lot of Hispanic uh, patients that they have an advanced and a very advanced coronary artery disease and peripheral vascular disease. And uh, you wonder it has something to do with uh, uh, with uh, with the, maybe the genes, maybe the, uh, the probably uh, it's combination, and I will say lifestyle maybe play a very important role in this. Yeah. Like in what we eat, or right? Lack of exercise, Abs things being uh, all the time. I I mean you know, it seems like this is uh, what's uh, mm -hmm. of course there is always a genetic component of right. uh, coronary artery disease, but probably in this. Uh, uh, area, I, I found that, you know, lifestyle is very, very important, yeah. Well, the city of East Chicago, it, it, we're really lucky to have you oh, doing thank this you. research, well. trying to improve the quality of life and the patients that we serve. Very excited. On another note, I'd like to talk to a little bit about uh, one of the, the first that you brought here was the procedure of using the Impella device. I already talked to your patient, Mr. Tyrone Brown. Okay. He gave a little bit of a patient experience, and I thought maybe you can fill us in on the physician's perspective and yeah. 
I understand he was a very sick man when he came here, or came to you. So if you want to tell me a little bit about his history and what you did and how he's progressing today. So let's start, first of all, to give you an idea about the Impala device, which is a new device that uh, we brought to uh, St. Catherine Hospital. And, uh, and, um, and actually, it, we are, were lucky that I think we were the first hospital in Northwest Indiana to use it. Uh, this device is a, a new device uh, developed in the last uh, maybe year or so. Uh, it's been now becoming more popular in a, uh, uh, in a bigger institutions. However, we have, as I said, the capability to do any procedures in, in this hospital. Um, the, the device is actually a unique device because it gives a support to the heart uh, that we never had before. This will help the heart, first of all, to recover. Number two, this will give us an, ab an ability to do a very high risk procedures on a patient that we were unable to offer them before. Uh, bypass surgery, always an option, but as you know from our patient, uh, you know, sometimes you do the bypass surgery and uh, it kind of like fail uh, for many reasons. And then after you do a one bypass or maybe two bypass, then the option is to go and treat this with a ballooning and stent. But most people that we do operation or bypass surgery, they have a weak heart and uh, they're sicker. We were unable to do an intervention and you know an angioplasty on those people. This device allows us to do a very high risk intervention and procedures uh, on those type of patients and uh, we succeed, I mean, we can do very good results, actually. And uh, one of the, you know, I think you, uh, uh, you, uh, you heard about our success in our, our patient. Uh, you know, he came to me, Mr. Brown came to me as uh, a referral from primary care doctor. He uh, had a bypass surgery before, and he was complaining of shortness of breath, and his muscle was very weak. Uh, to the point that it was severely actually weak. Uh, we did an angiogram and we found all the grafts from the bypass surgery were uh, closed. And uh, he, the disease in his native arteries, the main ar the arteries that he had before, it's all advanced. And we had to put a stent in to open those. And uh, in the past, we were unable to do something like that. Uh, we put the Impala device, uh, he came over uh, one day, uh, we put the Impala device, it gave us a great support, and it is actually a, like, um, a device that goes into the vein and the arteries, the same thing that any catheters. We put it in, in the heart, there is no major scar or anything like that. It takes over the heart and give a very good, uh, well, let's put it as a way, like good support uh, to the heart. We were, we were able to uh, deploy couple of stents in the heart open those major arteries uh, with no problem and our patient went home the next day and uh, we repeated his uh, uh, ultrasound uh, six weeks later and um, I'm, I was very pleased that his uh, muscle improved significantly and uh, and I he's doing better and I think he's going to continue to do much better so this is a good opportunity for us to give our patients uh, another option of you know uh, that it's not over yet we can do it we still can like work on it with it give us a lot of uh, yeah privilege you know too it seemed like he really had no other options uh, he couldn't have surgery again is that correct yes like I said he was very sick yeah um, you have to be pleased with the results oh, I am I very pleased he yeah looks great and I know uh, he said he feels good so yeah yeah I mean, yeah, absolutely. I'm very happy with the results. I'm very pleased with the result. I told him that actually in my office that I am, you know, I think, I think uh, he's going to do much better. Okay. Yeah. Once again, this is Angela Moore with Dr. Abbas. We're talking about cardiology services at St. Catherine Hospital. Uh, we're talking about the research that he's involved in here and what he's bringing to not only the patients we serve, to the hospital, um, and we also talked about the Impala device, that a new procedure, life-saving. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.